Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to compare Australian budgies to English budgies. Now, I am aware in different parts of the world, they call it different things. So on this side, I'll have a list of what they typically call in other parts of the world an Australian budgie. And on this side, I'll have um, different names that they call for English budgie. So I want to start the video with the obvious differences between the two um, and that is that English budgies are two to three times larger in size compared to Australian budgies. The other difference between the two is that English budgies have more pronounced markings so if you look at the two of them um, you can see that Edward's marking is more pronounced compared to Kiwi's. Um, Kiwi has a more subtle marking and that is pretty much the same with most Australian budgies. Their markings are more subtle, they're not as opaque, and they're not as um, pronounced compared to English budgies. Um, and also, if you look at their faces, English budgies have throat spots and Australian budgies don't. This doesn't mean that no Australian budgie isn't going to have throat spots, but they're not as pronounced. So they might have like a half moon or a subtle moon shape on their cheeks, but they're not as pronounced. I also kind of call English budgies little old men because they kind of have like these very bushy beards. They're not beards but I call them beards. The other difference is that English budgies also have um, larger feet um, whereas Australian budgies their toes are quite small. So this shouldn't come as a surprise but English budgies are heavier. They could weigh up to 50 grams and over um edward actually lost some weight i forgot his last weight last time i think it was 54 grams but they could even be up to 80 grams i've seen english budgies go pretty pretty high um in weight but australian budgies they typically hang around 30 to 35 now some birds are different and muscle mass is also important but australian budgies they weigh a lot lighter compared to english budgies when it comes to personality um, English budgies are more laid back and Australian budgies tend to be a bit more on the hyper side. Um, now the tameness might be a bit easier with English budgies because of this. Also, I cannot go without mentioning English budgies are a lot less noisy and Australian budgies, they tend to be a bit more noisier. English budgies have this deeper noise. I, I don't know how else to word it but they do have a deeper tone compared to Australian budgies. For their care, uh, it's the same for both of them, there's no difference. I would only say that English budgies may eat a bit more compared to Australian budgies, which makes a lot of sense because English budgies are larger in size, so they will consume a bit more. The other thing I want to talk about is their lifespan. I did do a comparison video on cockatiels and budgies and in that video I did say budgies live 5 to 8 years. I was talking about Australian budgies um, and I also kind of gave reasons as to why it, you know people assume that Australian budgies may live like 15 years. Not many. Um, I have seen many live over 10 with Australian budgies. That is not very likely with English budgies. I'm sure that there are those few English budgies just like with the Australian budgies that do make it over the age of 10. But it is actually very unlikely. In fact, I don't think many make it over the age of 5 and 6. A lot of that has to do with a lot of breeding and in fact inbreeding within the show business. English budgies are larger in size because they are show budgies and what breeders will do is that they will try getting the best marking or best quality in one bird and they will try breeding it with another bird with the same qualities and then the issue with that is that most of them are actually related um, they also come with other issues such as heart problems. I know many English budgies that do have heart arrhythmia like Edward who recently got diagnosed. Edward has a heart arrhythmia which basically means he has an irregular heartbeat and we did have an open conversation with our vet and uh, Dr. Yi did say that Edward will not be living as long compared to I guess you know their standard counterparts. Um, he will have a shorter lifespan but I don't want to dwell on it because he is getting the best care I could possibly give him. He does see the vet and there's really not much I could do about it. 
The other thing I want to talk about is prices. Australian budgets typically run around $30. Now, there could be a few differences. Some $25, some $35. Again, this is also going to depend on which country you live in. English budgets typically are less than $200. I'm also not talking about the English budgets in the show business because most breeders will trade English budgies within each other and they will sell an English budgie for up to even $2,000. I have seen it. They could go for very high prices. Um, before ending this video, I also want to talk about something that has bothered me for quite some time. And that's in the show business. Unfortunately, English budgies are bred so much to the point where they come with a lot of health issues. They don't make it very long in captivity. And another thing is that they are actually treated not the best. So what I have seen is that breeders will actually restrain an English budgie and they will actually um, pick on their uh, cheek spots. So anything that's not very circular or is a half moon, they will actually pull them out. The reason why they do this is because when an English budgie is prepared to be on show, they want to show the best markings. And in order to do that, what they will do is actually pull on those feathers that kind of look imperfect, I guess. And it really bothers me. Um, and unfortunately, it's just very inhumane. There's just no other way I could avoid it. It's inhumane and that probably is very painful for the bird. So to summarize everything, these are both very beautiful species. I would encourage people to rescue English budgies rather than impulse buying them. Edward did come from an accidental clutch um, and I think I paid roughly around $65 for him. Uh, the breeder, I call him breeder, I don't know what else to call him. He wasn't actually an exhibition breeder. He wasn't interested in breeding um, his budgies. It was just accidental. So he just kind of wanted to not keep them and I just happened to want an English budgie at that time so yeah that's that's the story with Edward um, but yeah there really isn't much of a difference in their care before I end the video please make sure to check out my store um, I have a lot of cute hoodies and stickers that you guys might be interested in also please subscribe to our channel I'm going to be doing videos once a week and if you guys have any personal requests, please comment them down below and make sure you thumbs up the video. Thank you for watching guys. Bye bye.